Hello everyone. Today in this video, I want to share with you um, how I color the acorn and the oak leaves. And uh, I downloaded some uh, reference photos share with you how I use them in my coloring. And the uh, first thing is um, to choose your pencils uh, according to the um, reference photo. And uh, if we take a closer look at this green leaf, we will see it has uh, sorry, has this uh, highlight area. And uh, I chose this pencil as uh, all the pencils I'm using today are Faber-Castell. So I chose May Green 170 for this uh, light area. And then we see uh, this uh, green area and uh, a darker green. So mainly these, uh, these are three colors. I chose uh, four pencils for this one. Uh, 170 and 266, 159 and 278. And then we move on to this uh, red uh, or brown leaf. And we see it's, uh, the light area is a uh, yellow, gold, gold yellow, and a very, um, very bright. Uh, like a white color and uh, then we see some uh, reddish brown light brown color and this is uh, like um, a darker value of the of this color and then we see some um, really dark red or dark brown so for this uh, brown or red leaf I chose uh, five pencils for this part. It's 266, 178, 170, uh, 187, 188, 192, and 263. For the acorns, and uh, I think uh, the color are, we can share the colors with the, leaf, with the red leaf. It's similar. So let's get started. And we will color this, uh, this leaf over here green. And uh, I will use uh, this pencil to start. First, we will try to find uh, which uh, part is lighter usually at the edge edge is a little bit lighter and it gets a little bit darker as we move to the center And then we use this slightly darker pencil to cover some part of the lighter area and then move towards the center. And as we see, this is a curve. When this is a curve, there is a transition of light. And that means some area is darker than the other area. light pressure i'm using very light pressure
and then we move on to the next pencil 159 and we are covering less area than before and we're, we're trying to make some areas darker And there is a fold, so this little part is lighter than the uh, these two areas, so that we can create this fold here. And same with this fold over here. Now we go back to this pencil and uh, we'll start adding more layers to make the color more vibrant and uh, more pigmented. Now we are using this darkest pencil number 279 to add some shadows. And if you want to make this leaf more interesting, you can add some brown color to the edge, as like uh, this one. It has some browns on the edge.
So we are using this pencil 187. That's our green oak leaf. Now let's do this leaf. So we'll use this uh, pen. We'll start with this pencil, number 268. Basically, we can cover the whole area with this uh, color because it's very light and it, it's a and yellow is a good color to use as a base color. Um, but we will leave some leave out some white spots as a highlight. Because if you would look at this uh, leaf, there has some highlights on the leaf. So we'll do that as well. We'll move on to add more colors into and now we're using 187. We'll cover less the spot than well than the previous time. We'll leave some uh, yellow spot to indicate that this part hasn't turned brown yet. It's a nice, beautiful golden color. Really, you can make your own decision, like uh, which spot you like it to be uh, a little bit more brown, and which spot you want it to be more yellowish. That's totally up to you, because uh, you know, as the saying goes, there is an no same leaf not exactly the same leaf in the world so so your leaf is very can be very very uniquely yours you can do whatever you want basically yeah just to say this is how my leaf is like course we have to follow the basic rules of uh, you know the light and shadow and shape but as far as the color goes totally up to you all right 
Now I'll move on to the next darker color, 188. See a lot of artists, they start coloring with darker, uh, darker color. I think if they are experienced and they know what they are doing, that's, um, that's great. Uh, but as a beginner, I would recommend to start with the lighter colors. Well, if you're following a tutorial and you you, you trust uh, the you know the other person knows what they're doing, it's fine. But if you're just uh, experimenting by yourself and choosing your own palette, I would recommend to start with the, the lighter color first because there's more room to fix the mistake. You can just color, cover the lighter color with the darker color. But if you make a mistake with a darker color, and then it can be a headache to fix it. That's my experience anyways. Okay, we move on to the next color, 192. We're just uh, adding more darker color at the folds and uh, creating our own brown spots. And now we move, move on to our darkest value, This is our brown leaf. Okay, now we move on to our acorn and we'll start with this part first and we'll start with the pencil 268. So as we look at this uh, part, we see this part receives more light. So this part is slightly lighter than the bottom part. So we'll use a little bit lighter pressure on this part than on this part. I'm just uh, color uh, covering this whole this whole part with the uh, 268, and then I'll slowly building up the layers and uh, adding more color and add more shadows as I move around. Now I'm using 187. As you can see, I'm building up my layers and I'm also making some part lighter than the other parts. 
to give it a more three-dimensional look. Now we move on to our next pencil, 188. And then I move to 192. And I'm using 175 for this uh, little area here because it has it's darker as um, I'll just use this uh, dark gray color for that. Okay, and now we move on to this part. And first of all, uh, we find out where we would like our highlight to be. If you look at this acorn, this acorn, they all have uh, some uh, highlight on it, like uh, here and uh, here. So we will find out where our highlight is. And I'll leave it white. And we'll color around. And as we color, our pencil can follow the movement of this acorn. I'm using 268 again. I'm leaving the edge a little bit white so that you know it can have some contract with the leaves around it. Now we're moving to the pencil 187.
as you can see this color is not too much of a difference with, if, um, from the color we're using before it's because uh, I chose this color is because uh, they are close so the transition will look a little more smooth it's close but it's just a slightly darker Now we're moving to our next darker value is uh, 188. Let's see, this is uh, slightly darker than the previous one. And uh, I'm using slightly a little bit more pressure now. And now we're switching to the pencil 192. And you want to be colorful, uh, a little bit careful with the, this pencil because uh, it's a darker color and you don't want to make a mistake. Basically, we're almost finished. We're just adding a last a shadow touch to it. I'm using 263. This is a very dark area, so we're using this pencil to emphasize this part. Okay, this is our finished work, and I used uh, uh, some markers to add the background, and I used some white gel pen to add some interesting dots. I hope you enjoyed this video.